This video is not made for kids. Any content I create on this channel is not suited for viewers under 18 plus, unless they are with parental or guardian supervision. Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing Jewel Ritchie from the new Series 4 core lineup. So let's take a look at her box first. Here, the box is very much the same like all the pre previous core series boxes. Here on the right, we have her full second outfit. Here we have her in on the left it says her name here jewel richie her little color theme and then here it says series four you can see the artwork of some of the girls here at the bottom and then on the back we can see the full artwork and it reads rainbow high where creative students with style use glam grit love action and moxie to make their performing arts and fashion dreams come true and here on the one side we do have a major and it reads jewel fashion design focus so yeah now let's get her unboxed. And here is Jewel Richie out of the box. And wow, she is a stunner. Okay, let's take a look at her face here first. So her face up is really pretty. It is really gorgeous. Um, even though she wasn't my first, cho first choice when I was actually looking for a jewel in the store. Um, Cause she, there was so many defects on the jewels there with the eyes, with some blotches here, uh, some paint defects on the lips as we can see here mine has some added on little paint in the middle which is not originally there it's a variant i guess so yeah it was a tough time finding a jewel that actually looked um decent so yeah i ended up with her and she did not disappoint she's really pretty and she does have really nice eye makeup here it's she has like a gold uh not gold she has like a green eyeshadow here and then uh she just has some faded faded out uh brown eyeshadow at the top that's really it all already like that's honestly not much but she does have the continuation of the green eyeshadow here at the bottom on both sides and i did see some variants that have some green glitter here on the inner corner which does look interesting it's a little more bedazzled so it looks more catching eye catching i guess um she does have oh see she has ha she has some like a uh, paint defect here with the um with a blotch of green here from her makeup same goes with here a blotch of black around her vitiligo spot and here as well in her spot so that's great Speaking of her vitiligo is very nice otherwise on her face it's very uh very well done honestly also this little one here that's like a heart super cute has it around her ear as well i honestly like the vitiligo spots are super look more paint but they're super cute uh they go around all her body like honestly it's very sh i'm shook like i don't know how they did this but like they look really cute they look really good now she does have some uh red lips here like i mentioned before and they have some added little specks of of lighter pink in the middle here i don't know it looks okay i guess it looks i don't know what do you what do you think do, do you think she looks okay with this little added on pink she does also have some uh molded on edges and they are painted um not perfectly as you can tell here um here i don't know what happens here but like yeah it's not perfect but i did my best there were some variants with her um hair her hair was um much more heavily pulled back on some like her hair was much more like a lot of her portion of the hair here was more pulled back and some of it was more like this where it's just a little bit and it's just at the front so definitely look at, at the hair for your jewels in a store because they do have some variants in that uh in that category as well now her hair is actually not that long it's fairly it just reaches her past her knees like yeah past her knees um and it's kind of wavy it has a really nice wave here at the top at the bottom um it was gelled heavily in the box but all i did was just brush it out and now it's really pretty so yeah it uh i do feel like her hair is kind of thin is not the thickest hair I've ever felt. Like it's it's very, you know, it's not much hair. <laughs> I don't know if this is my um, jewel specifically, but at least it looks nice. You know, you can't really tell it's like thin and she does have some uh, mix in highlights of like lighter shades of uh, turquoise or whatever, like, like almost like a bluer emerald. And then here she has more like a darker emerald. I like the highlights. It gives the hair more dynamic, you know. 
but uh, she does have, let me look at her rooting. So the rooting here at the top, um, I mean, we can see the rooting, so I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like, you know, it could be better. Again, it feels thin in my opinion, but like, at least it's covered up nicely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at least I don't have to see that it's thin. Um, and she does have these two uh, strands here braided up top. And then one of them is even covering the elastic band. Super cute. As we can see, her earrings are super pretty. They are a new mold. They are gold uh, jewels. Uh, my, I keep saying gold. I mean, they are green emerald jewels here, trimmed with some uh, pearls, I guess, uh, around it. And a gold uh, green little stud here that's actually in uh, connecting it to her ear. <laughs> so yeah, it's a cute little earring. It's a little pendant. It looks really cute. And uh, same goes with the other side. They're really large, honestly. Oh my God, look! I didn't notice this, but look, she has some blotches of gold here. Uh, now I said the right word, gold. Yeah, she has some gold here on her green earring, her emerald green earring. Um, so that sucks, but it's okay. It's at least hidden away from her fur, uh, by her fur. So yay, I don't know. <laughs> she has this really cute choker here, uh, choker ribbon in black, similarly to what the Devious Twins had. And then here her jewel is in uh, green and it's uh, it has some gold uh, rimming here. I don't know how you called it, like it's uh, the gold little thing that's holding it. And also a little added uh, pearl in white. So that's really cute. All I did was just tuck it in to her shirt so it's not as obvious. And so you can actually um, place the choker uh, and it doesn't keep popping up. So I feel like that just looks a little bit better. She does come with really a lot of uh, bracelets. They are all unique new molds to her. They are all uniquely uh, colored and painted with details look at that detail i just cannot even oh also her nails are painted in a dark green emerald shade uh speaking of her nails and hands here she has some more bracelets on the other hand too and they're also new molds her outfit is super gorgeous i did actually combine the first outfit dress which i really like with the second outfit top i felt it needed some kind of layering and i feel like that looks really cute and it adds a little bit of a, a pop of texture here so this uh second outfit top it's a pleatery uh, vinyl uh texture it has it's like a bustier basically and uh, the first outfit dress is all sequins it is shorter on the front, lower, uh, yeah, lower, yeah, longer on the back. It's a high-low hem, it's really cute. It is really nice that they even like lined it on the inside. Um, and it has these really cute gold straps. Um, these, uh, not gold, but these like uh, green ribbon straps with this gold detailing surrounding it, like it, w weaving it in or whatever. It's like super cute. Um, also, she comes with this fur stole um, that is also lined and has these little plastic things that you can put her arms into so it doesn't fall off. But um, look at how elegant she looks like with this fur stole. She is a princess. No, she's an heiress, actually, in fact. So, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Moving on down to her fabulous first pair of heels. I did leave her in her first pair of heels just because they are a much more interesting pair of shoes that she comes with. They are, they have a black sole. They are pointy. Look at that. They are super pointy on the front. They have this kind of like emerald greenish. It's more, it's, it's looking more blue. In, in the video, like in the camera, I can see right now it's more like bluish. It's not as green as a real person, but in person she is much more of a green tint, I assure you. Um, so yeah, she has some gold detailings here with R and H. And the ribbons here are real, obviously, and they look so cute. They look so good. I just love how elegant she looks like, honestly, overall. She's just so stunning. And obviously she comes with her doll stand in her unique shade. It's a really dark emerald green. And of course, every doll stand comes with a matching hairbrush in the same shade, as we can see here. It's a really nice shade. I love that we finally have a dark shade in the in the green, uh, in the green uh, 
<laughs> world of Rainbow High because we only had like Jade, Daphne, and Karma. So I'm really glad that we finally have more green shades to add to the collection. She does come with her second outfit and this is her second outfit, a little jacket. It's a kind of like pleasury material. It's in a style of a motor jacket, a motorbike jacket um, in a pleasury material. Um, as you can see here, it's in a black. And then everything else is just complete fur with the collar here um, in like a different shade of green at the tips and then like the root of it is like black fur so that's really interesting look isn't it it looks so fluffy and like big <laughs> um she has a gold a gold zipper here at the front a little uh pull zipper pull here in gold as well um and here on the sleeves she has a ton of gold uh glued on little um studs and on the bottom at the end of the sleeves they also come with some added on little zippers here to make it look like you can open it up. Definitely something that I've seen myself and I even have a leathery jacket that has that feature. So yeah, that's really, that's, that's such a cute little feature. Her second outfit skirt is also really nice. It's actually like in this leathery kind of crocodile or snakeskin print. It's very shiny. It's, it feels like plastic, honestly. It's like very vinyl feeling um and it's uh yeah it's just really it's a cute little skirt the uh sides here have some added on lace in black stitched on um looks cute yeah I've, yeah it's, it's a cute little touch of black and at the front here we have some embroidered gold uh holes here that actually work they're actual holes keeping in the uh, ribbon here that's uh, tied at the front. Lastly, here are her second pair of heels. They are much more basic compared to her first pair. Um, they are just sling backs, I think is what they're called. They are in a, the, the, the base here is in a emerald kind of green color, has some painted on gold studs. The heel is in black. The straps here are in translucent actually, and that's it. That's all the shoe is. It's kind of basic. I don't know why they couldn't have given her a more interesting looking pair of second uh, shoes. Sec her second pair for her second pair of shoes. Because these are just very basic. Like I would have much, much more preferred like a boot or like over knees. Oh my God, that was so cute. Can you imagine like over, over knee boots in her shade for Jewel? Oh my God, that would look so cute. But like, yeah, these are all so cute. They're just very simple. And yeah, that is Jewel Richie. Um, from the start, I knew I was gonna like her a lot just because I love the emerald shade that they gave her. It's very deep, very rich. Um, I love her accessories. I love her vitiligo. She's a very pretty doll. And now that I actually have her, she did not disappoint. <laughs> she is very pretty. And I love this uh, combination with the layered atop over her dress. It just looks so cute and I love her. This is how I'm gonna display her. She's so fancy looking and elegant. Like I would honestly, she's just like, honestly one of the best rainbow huddles ever. So I recommend her heavily. She's super gorgeous looking. But yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know you thought of Jewel Richie. Do you have her? Do you not have her? Who's your favorite from series four? Let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more rainbow high doll news, doll reviews. Um, episode reaction videos a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses